Good afternoon. First, could you tell us about yourself and the Chiram Palace Kempinski? Then I will ask your marketing strategy and what's going to happen this year. Digital strategy. Uh, well, my name is Can Göktaş. I'm the uh, regional director of sales for Kempinski. I take care of Turkish hotels. Uh, one of them is uh, actually Tram Palace. We have one in Bodrum and a beautiful one in Antalya as well. And we have two more properties in uh, Bulgaria. But of course today I think we will talk more about uh, Tram Palace. Uh, well, Tram Palace, as you know, with its location, uh, with its history, uh, and um, you know the profile of guests uh, we host here is, uh, I call it the Pearl of Bosphorus. Uh, I think it's a very important um, icon uh, and it's a face of our country. All the big uh, events, very important events, takes place uh, in Trump Palace. As I said, it's uh, the Pearl of Bosphorus uh, and is a very important icon uh, to promote our country. Everybody, actually, when they see that uh, one of the Ottoman palaces converted into, into an event area, uh, they fell in love with the royal gardens. Uh, and I think it has a very special place in the people's hearts, uh, not only Turkish people, but also um, in surrounding countries and visitors of, of uh, Turkey. Could you please about, tell us about the top guests' nationalities? Who are your guests? Yeah, here? with pleasure. Well, uh, first of all, every guest is very important for us, I have to say. Uh, we don't differentiate uh, our guests. Anybody who steps in from our doors, uh, has the privilege of uh, experiencing uh, the beauties of Chiran Palace. So that's why actually they're very uh, important for us. That we, we, uh, we strive to deliver uh, exceptional memories that uh, will create actually uh, uh, things that they can share with their friends, which will actually uh, create a butterfly effect and uh, many more people will hear about Chiran Palace in the world. Uh, but if we come uh, to the segmentation, or let's say not segmentation, but nationalities, uh, nearly 20% of our business are coming f is coming from uh, North America, mainly Americans. Uh, they come here um, for uh, n not only historical reasons, they come here for to see the scenery of Istanbul, to feel the authenticity of the city, the destination, and uh, not only stay in Istanbul, they go to Izmir, Bodrum, to different parts of uh, our country. I heard these days most of them are going to Mardin. This, this is very, I think, very. I'm very proud that uh, the uh, secrets of our country is open to the world now. Uh, if you look uh, the second nationality, of course, uh, by being a, a German uh, root chain, let's say, as you know, Kempinski is one of the oldest European uh, hotel management company, uh, nearly another 20% of our business is coming from Germany and German-related markets, let's say. Uh, UK is another very important uh, market. And uh, it's, uh, this follows, actually, the um, Middle East follows these three uh, very important countries. We have lots of customers from Saudi, uh, from Qatar, from UAE. Our investor, uh, Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, is from UAE. Uh, that's why we have lots of customers uh, and guests from there. Kuwait, Bahrain, I mean, all the uh, GCC countries. We have lots of Russian guests. Uh, we see an increase in our Chinese uh, guests. I think uh, they are now finding out the beauties of, uh, of Istanbul as a destination. Uh, we started to see very high profile people coming from China uh, and experiencing our hotel and our hotels in Turkey. So um, in general the top 20 if you talk about I have to say also Brazil uh, as you know with the uh, with the uh, action of Turkish Airlines a couple of years ago when they put the direct flight from uh, Brazil that was a very uh, actually positive and an important uh, act uh, I believe to connect our country with Brazil uh, the the number of guests coming from Brazil increase every day. Now they put the Argentina, this uh, Buenos Aires flight as well. Uh, but not only that, we've been doing very important activities in South America. We brought uh, lots of celebrities from there to stay in our hotel. Uh, we were extremely active in media, in uh, many online platforms as well. Uh, but I have, to, I have to say one of the very important actions we did actually, they, you know, Brazilians, they love TV series. Uh, in Turkey, you know, it's given once a, once a week. In Brazil, it's seven nights a week. So it's a, uh, it's a very important thing. One of their very important uh, 
most important TV series, the soap opera, actually was shooted here in the Chiran Palace. And actually Chiran Palace is shown as the house of the main um, character in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the soap opera. And everybody I can tell you talk about uh, Chiran Palace in Brazil at the moment. So it helped our uh, very, um, uh, it helped very much to our activities, I have to say. What is the best way for a traveler to book a room here? The best way uh, to book a room at Chiran Palace is to go through kampinski.com. Uh, our, uh, our guests can also enjoy um, our network as well on the kampinski.com. You just press the book now and then uh, the website follows you through uh, with a beautiful presentation of our hotels. Uh, so uh, that would be that would be the ideal uh, way of booking uh, our hotel. But on the other side, uh, our strategy is to be available in all B two B and B two C channels. Mm -hmm. That's why nearly all the luxury tour operators you would imagine we are available in their in their brochures. Uh, we are nearly available in all all online travel agents uh, mm -hmm. on the online platforms. We also have a very important corporate network. We are nearly in all agreements of international companies. Uh, we are extremely active in mice business. We do um, more than 30% of our business is, is mice. Uh, so, uh, but the quickest way uh, is, is Kampinski.com, I have to say. What is the percentage of online bookings? Well, at the moment, in our, within our total business, in our total business mix, uh, the online bookings takes about 9%, 8 to 9%. Out of this 8 to 9%, over 4% of our business is coming directly from Kampinski.com. Uh, our, our big effort, actually, we are trying to funnel as much as possible to our website because we want to make sure our customers, our guests who are interested in Trump Palace, also enjoys the treatment we give them on the online platform. So, but we don't disagree, we don't, um, we also take care of our other online travel agents. As I said, our, our duty is to make sure our hotel is reachable at any kind of um, way that our guests want to reach us. What so is the percentage of uh, not online, not online, but all traditional? But 90%, I have to say. I mean, out of that 90%, 30% is groups, let's say. Uh, another 30% is leisure, mainly through tour operators, wholesalers, uh, this traditional way of booking uh, things. And another 20% is from corporate uh, business travelers. Let's put it that way. I see. Uh, finally, I would like to ask, uh, you have one art gallery in the Chiran Palace. Yeah. Do you still continue that? Well, the art gallery, I think, uh, first of all, Kampinski has an art program. Uh, and uh, art and culture is a very important, uh, important thing to combine the local community with our hotel and uh, the most important thing is uh, actually in a hotel is to make your lobby um, interactive inter interacting with the social community in the um, in the uh, in the surroundings you know in the radius of the hotel let's say uh, what we do yes we continue i have to say we continue on our all, in all our guest floors we present to our guests all the art pieces that used to be uh, present in our uh, art gallery uh, from different artists so that they can really make a nice journey uh, into all the activities we've done. Uh, currently, we give a pause to our activities in the art gallery due to some, uh, some works being planned. Uh, but Chiran Palace will always be uh, very close to art uh, and culture. Uh, this is one of our main missions. Thank you very much. Our pleasure.